the two overflow rooms, the, you know, the, the a massive amount of people that were in the court today. I mean, we just feel really supportive and really proud of the of the city and the state that we live in. It was a lively argument. That's all I can say. It was, you know, give and take. I think that, you know, what, what it tells us is that we've gone a long way and we have a long way to go. So there's, I think there's no way you can tell from the argument how it's going to come out. Ohio was saying, judge, don't get involved. Let's do politics some more. Let's have people vote some more. But that's not a judicial argument. I mean, if you are violating rights and you've properly presented your argument to court, the court should act. And we're hopeful that even though we had a lot of discussion about democracy today, the role of the court's pretty clear here. Rights are being violated. The court should rule. In each of these four states, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee, the people overwhelmingly determined what they wanted. And to have one judge or even a panel of three judges just throw that out is a violation of our core values as American people. Attorneys for the same-sex couple say there's a fundamental right to marry under the Constitution, and that trumps any state's rights to defend uh, gay marriage bans. The states are arguing that they've always defined marriage as between a man and a woman, and this is way too new to change everything now, and that change will come through the democratic process, and that their voters have the right to decide.